friends, Easter's coming, and today I have a story called The Little Rabbit. We know two of the words in the title, The Little Rabbit. The Little Rabbit, I love it. Look how pretty. It's a Random House picture book. Oh, here's the author. The story is by Judy Dunn, and the photography is by Phoebe Dunn. Hmm. So these aren't pictures that we draw. These are pictures somebody took with a camera. One Easter, Sarah found a little rabbit in her Easter basket. She was nestled beside two eggs. The little rabbit was soft and white. She had bright pink eyes, long ears that were pink inside, and a tiny pink nose that was always wiggling. Sarah loved her new friend very much. Look at her hugging it. I wonder if anybody ever got their picture taken with a bunny. Oh, look, the bunny looks very happy. Sarah let the little rabbit play in the grass while she tried to think of just the right name for her. There were some tiny yellow flowers nearby called Buttercups. That's a nice name, said Sarah to her little friend. I'll call you Buttercup too. Sarah took good care of Buttercup. Every day she visited her in her new red hutch. A hutch is a bunny's house, a hutch, bringing food pellets and fresh water. Then she watched Buttercup eat and drink. Look at her watching her. Sarah's other friends loved Buttercup too. After school, they hurried over to Sarah's house and played with the little rabbit. Buttercup was always happy to be the center of attention. All the children wish they had a rabbit of their own. Look how gentle they are. Look, the bunny sits up on its back legs like a dog. That's neat, huh? <laughs> One afternoon, Sarah took Buttercup out to the meadow. The meadow is a place filled with grass and flowers. Uh-oh, but Sarah fell asleep. Buttercup did not want to sleep. She was soon hopping off to meet new friends. First, she came upon a slow-moving turtle, and then she met a beautiful orange and black butterfly. There was so much to see and do out in the world. I love that butterfly on the flower. I bet he's drinking nectar, huh? But what was that? Buttercup was startled by something moving in the ferns. It was another rabbit. It's different from Buttercup. It has long ears like Buttercup and an eye and nose like Buttercup, but it's brown, isn't it? The other rabbit was a wild rabbit. Oh, choo choo. What? What? Go. <laughs> Go into my face. What? Sorry, friends. <laughs> the other rabbit was a wild rabbit. He was quite different from Buttercup. He had large brown eyes and brows that helped him stay to hide from the end. Oh, he was brown, fur. he had brown fur and his brown fur helped him hide from his enemies. The two rabbits watched each other for a long time. <laughs> then they hopped away. I see, we can see Buttercup really easily because she's white, but the wild rabbit is brown and kind of blends in with the background a little better than Buttercup. If, if this rabbit was over here, he'd blend in even better. Buttercup was hungry, so she nibbled some grass beside a rhubarb patch. Oh, see the big rhubarb leaves. You can make pie from the stems. Suddenly it began to rain. She ran for cover and got stuck between some stalks. Then she sat and watched the rain. She felt very small and very lonely. The big leaf is acting like an umbrella keeping the rain away, but it sure is barking there. When Sarah woke up, she searched all over for Buttercup and finally found her. Sarah and Buttercup went everywhere together. Sometimes they went to picnics in the woods. Sarah always brought along a carrot for Buttercup. Look at that long carrot and Buttercup's munching away. Look how the sun shines through the, the rabbit's ears. Their ears must be very thin, huh? Look at her riding in the backpack. Sarah was very proud of her rabbit. Over the next few months, Buttercup grew bigger and bigger. Soon she was ready to have babies of her own. Sarah put a nesting box filled with clean straw into the hutch. Buttercup pulled fur from her coat to make a soft, warm nest for babies. Then she waited. Sarah visited the hutch often. 
but nothing happened. See all the extra fur around her neck? That's where she pulls the fur from to line her nest. Oh, look at Sarah. Whoa, look, look how little. Then one morning, Sarah looked into the hutch and saw new baby rabbits in the nest. Oh, buttercup, she said, you're a mother. Sarah was so happy to see the babies. Now, when my rabbits had babies, they didn't have any fur when they were born. They were kind of ugly and not so cute. Those maybe are, maybe, I don't know. Their eyes are open too. My bunnies were born with eyes that were closed. Hmm. The babies grew fast. Soon they were big enough to climb out of the nesting box. So the nesting box has a little spot so the babies can hop out when they're big enough. They were lively and curious and so soft and white, just like their mother. Now Sarah had to think of names for all of them. Since there were seven baby rabbits, Sarah decided to name each one after the seven days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Oh, look, the baby bunnies are in her dress. Oh, look, there they are next to daffodils. Oh, look, I think that bunny might be nibbling flowers. Soon the little rabbits were big enough to go outside. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday stayed in Sarah's lap, but the others jumped out. Wednesday sat under the daffodils. Thursday sniffed violets, and Friday hopped through the grass. Wow, Friday's a fast mover. Little Saturday went further than any of her brothers and sisters. Soon, she found herself in a sea of tiny blue flowers. There were flowers everywhere. Saturday stopped right where she was because she didn't know what else to do. She was lost. But Sarah soon found her. It was time for the rabbits to go home. Sarah couldn't get them all back by herself, so she called for her father. Together, they collected the little rabbits and put them back into the hutch with Buttercup. Look how small they are. They're not even as big as her hand. Sarah, said her father, there are just too many rabbits and they're getting bigger every day. It's time you found good homes for Buttercup's babies. Sarah wanted to keep them all, but she knew her father was right. There were too many rabbits and the hutch was crowded. So the next day, Sarah offered one or two of Buttercup's babies to each of her friends. Monday went home with Kate, and Billy chose Tuesday for his pet. He brought a box to carry her home safely. Wednesday and Thursday rode home in Jeff's bicycle basket. By the end of the day, all of Buttercup's babies had new homes, and Sarah's friends were very proud to have rabbits of their own. Sarah and Buttercup were happy to be alone together, just as they were in the beginning. I love you, Buttercup, said Sarah as she stroked her rabbit's soft white fur. But Buttercup just wiggled her pink nose. She's stroking Buttercup, petting Buttercup. What a great story. And today we're going to make a little rabbit. I think you'll like it. See you soon. Bye, friends. And sorry Mrs. Brow's face is in the middle of this. I'm telling you.